Do we have any ideas on who's going to be the vice president of the United States of America? Thank you very much, or at least top on the ticket with Donald Trump. I, I see so many of you guys, you really like Governor Nome. That's very interesting to me. And I think a good sign. She's a very smart woman, very cool, level-headed. Whether or not she plays as much on a national stage and also with women, et cetera, these are things that we have to think about. But I think it's fascinating that there's such a, a sort of a surge of support. And I think that's good. I think that's a good sign. You know, I will say this, we get tons and tons of people, which is also a really, really good thing. Yeah, you, David, you like her too. That's interesting. So many of you guys really like her. I see Tulsi's name a lot too, but don't forget she's a Russian spy, right? Just like, just like, just like Tucker. That killed me. Remember Hillary Clinton actually coming out and saying that Tulsi Gabbard was a Russian spy. I mean, her team planted this story and then Clinton wouldn't deny it. I mean, the woman is just in our armed services. I, this is such a miserable, awful, terrible business. Is it not? Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I see that one a lot. I mean, I actually, I mean, I know her and I think she's just a smart cookie. And I think that she would have a lot of mass appeal. So I think she's someone to look pretty hard at. I know as well that she works very well with Donald Trump and that working relationship matters for sure. She's had a lot of loyalty. So those are all issues that come into play. Blackburn as well. We've talked about her. I mean, she's a grandmother. So I think she'd relate well with women. She's already beaten Taylor Swift, heck, in Tennessee. So take a good hard look at her. People are talking about a, a woman out of Alabama. I actually... I mean, look, I could be wrong. I mean, I should watch her some more to kind of get a feel for her. Um, but some people are talking about this woman out of Alabama. Look, I think that the reality is this. You need somebody who's totally comfortable playing second fiddle. So for me anyway, I, look, I think Carrie Lake probably has a bright future and she may be the next senator from Arizona, but I don't think it's going to be Carrie Lake because I, I just think that he's going to see that as, as almost too much, right? Like too much personality for the room. It's why I don't think it's going to be Vivek. I, I, I think Vivek is phenomenal and hey, you know, maybe he could, he could have a fantastic cabinet position, but he's got a big political future ahead of him. VP is, is kind of a unique spot, you know, and it, it's not always somebody who goes on to do really tremendous things. Leslie saw Noam yesterday. That's interesting. And what do you think, Leslie? Yes? No? I mean, um, it, it wouldn't, it, it certainly won't be the unknown Alabama girl, Don writes. I, I think you're right. I mean, it, her, the name is getting floated out there. It's probably coming from her team trying to make uh, make it known. She She's sort of an up and comer. Katie Britt, I believe is her name. So we should, we should just, you know, check her out. We're doing our vetting process here, are we not? Right? All the Reganites banding together, trying to figure this out. I did call Pence in 2016, but that one was pretty easy. I knew, I was like, okay. And I knew him. I had actually um, met him previously and he had been on my show a bunch in the years prior. And, you know, don't forget, he was a former radio host and then became a politician. And I thought with Mike Pence, this is somebody who will easily play the part of second fiddle and will also be able to manage that, that you know, evangelical community that wasn't entirely in at that point. And so because he had such a religious background, that was helpful. And so I'm thinking like with the woman, like maybe that's the same thing. Can he help bridge the gap? Uh, Leslie, you, what'd you think? I'm, I'm just curious. Lake would be competition. Right, right. Yeah, you, you, Alphonse, it's good to see you again, my friend. Christy, um, that's who, you know, a lot of people are, are thinking might be it. The question is, would she succeed? Would she really succeed with women, like soccer moms, all right? So think of soccer moms. You got to put your head in the space of a soccer mom and think who would they like? I mean, it's why I guess I keep coming back to Sarah because she's just, She's just great. She's kind of like America's sweetheart. I mean, I like Christy a ton, but I, I, I'm sure we'll be fine with anyone because I think when you look at this field and you see all these people, you know they're all great. They're all great and they'll all do a good job. It's just a question of who's going to really help get him, get him the, the actual spot. So yeah, lots of fans of Christy. It's very interesting. I've seen that a lot. David, David, you are an official Reganite. Yes, thank you so much. Um, do you buy, Don, you, that cracks me up. So now you guys are trading on the names. You know, you can actually do this. You can go and buy these websites on these sites and they have certain values. And then if they go up in value, you can sell them. 
Or if they go down, I guess you could sell them too. Well, Don, you are very smart. He bought Trump Gnome as a website. There you go. Uh, so you, you're all in. You got money on the line, mister. Money on the line. Good. To, yeah. Gnome is a big maybe. Leslie said, Sarah, you, you agree with me, right? She'd be fabulous. She really would be. We'll see. We'll see. Good evening, Alex. Good to see you here. Good to see you back. I've seen you over on Twitter before. Again, wonderful to have you all. I, I appreciate you so loyally sticking with this show. And we've, we've grown slowly but steadily. And this is, this is our chance, right? And, and if Don hasn't told you already, make sure you like it, you, you share it, you subscribe, and you hit the bell. All of those things.